just great to have our group here in Cairns. Um, the facility is fantastic. The community has been great. Um, so our lifestyle around the basketball has been fantastic. And then um, the setup here has been wonderful. So um, really happy with the group that we've got. Really happy with the progression that uh, we're making in practice so far. And again, uh, um, just real happy to be here and uh, happy with the team right now. I guess in terms of today, what's been the focus for today's preparation? Well, just in, in general, it's obviously the number one thing is getting our systems in and learning to play together because we have a sh short period of time. Also making it competitive because the selections are going to be really tight. We've got 18 guys here, we've got to cut this to 12, and we've got 18 very good players. So them get an opportunity to play, developing systems, and uh, always constantly on the day-to-day -day building our culture. So, uh, and I, again, we've just been, we're in about day four now. We had two days where we just lifted weights, shot, and we had a culture day, and now this is our second practice, and we've covered a lot of ground in two days. Can you talk about how actually brutal it is to see six players being knocked off the roster in the next couple of weeks and so talented? Well, I'm, I'm not um, honestly thinking that way. I'm, I'm thinking that uh, uh, it's 18 great players, and, and that's um, when we're talking, everybody's talking about a gold medal. If the selections aren't difficult, then um, you know, it's not real. Um, the, the thing the staff is on about really is now making the right decisions. It's, it's not the cuts, it's making the right decisions for the team, what the players are going to be best suited for our group. And as we develop more and more a style of play, um, certain guys fitting in to the main eight or nine, that's going to evolve, I think, and become pretty clear by the end of the week. Have you already got an idea in your head, though, of what the final, at, well, at least the next 15 will look like? Uh, no, no, not yet. Not, it's day two. It's day two. So just getting a feel of it, and then uh, we've got a scrimmage coming up in a game against Houston, and uh, by the end of the week, we'll, um, I'm sure it'll be pretty clear. Do you think with Josh uh, next year, he's, he's one of the big stars Australia's going to have over the next 10 years, do you think he's ready to lead the Boomers forward over the next decade? I certainly do. He's a great player, and uh, I'm really excited about his progression um, in the NBA. has been remarkable, and now I'm having him after last year the improvement and you just feel it the minute he walked in the gym and put the ball in his hands um, he makes everybody better and uh, we're very fortunate to have him. Yeah it's, uh, it's also exciting uh, for me I've wanted to be in the boomers and a part of this program for, for a long time and I uh, was able to get a taste of it you know in the last Olympic camp uh, a couple years back so I guess I was 17 18 back then and I've had you know a couple years under my belt in the NBA now and I feel um, you know, the talent that we've got in Australian basketball is as good as it's ever been. Um, you know, with a mix of, you know, the older guys, Patty, Joe, Deli, um, that have been around for 10, 15 years, and then we've got um, younger guys coming through. So it's a great combination of both, and um, I'm really excited. As I said, as a kid, you grow up, and for an Australian kid, the pinnacle of basketball is winning the gold medal for your country, and um, you know, that's what I'm excited with the chase. Uh, training camp, I mean, it's a great, it's a great, as Gorge said, uh, first and foremost, it's good for us guys to get together. Uh, a lot of us haven't seen each other for a little while. Um, get familiar with each other's games, uh, learn to play together, and uh, it's really short preparation. We go away to the World Cup in you know, three, four weeks. So um, getting these sessions under our belt, it's a really competitive environment. Uh, guys are making each other better, and um, yeah, that, that's the best part about the Boomers program is it's such a talented squad of 18 guys that um, every day when we come in here, the competitive level is so high that um, guys get better every day. Following up from before, do you feel you're ready to leave this, this nation over the next 10 years in terms of basketball? Definitely. Um, I mean, they're the positions you know I've always wanted to be in, uh, to, to be a uh, key piece of the Boomers team. And um, as I said, as a kid, I've grown up watching these guys play on TV for so many years, and now to be a part of the program um, is really exciting. And um, it's obviously been led by so many great players over the years, not just the last 10, 15, but you know, 30, 40 years. Um, so there's a lot of history within the Boomers, and um, I'm just looking to come in, play my role, and, and do what I can to help uh, this country win a gold medal. Are these conditions difficult to acclimatize to? No, not to, not not really. Uh, I mean, being an NBA player, you play in so many different altitudes and, and time zones. It's uh, coming up. The weather's a little bit different 
different from where I was at in Melbourne, but um, not too bad. How are the facilities here in Pantai? These are awesome. Uh, these, these are great facilities, um, you know, big three-core gym, um, so the guys are loving it, um, and it's been great so far. You made any new friends you wouldn't thought you would have made here in business? Uh, no, I mean, I've known all the guys, uh, you know, for a while now, so um, it's, it's just good to see everybody all in one place now. Obviously, over the NBA season, the NBL season, um, you get to catch up with guys here and there, but uh, to have us all in one spot now for this training camp and then the, the games in Melbourne, um, it's a great opportunity to come come back all together as one group and um, you know all prepare for the same thing. And, and one follow up on leadership is how instrumental is, has Patty and, and Joe been to helping you become a, a potential future leader for this squad? They've been great. Uh, I mean, I, I've been in you know, contact with them for the last you know, three, four years, even before I signed in Adelaide. So uh, they've been great for me, mentoring me, guiding me. Um, as I said earlier, those guys have. You know, Paddy's gone to his fifth Olympics. He, Joe's been to a multiple, you know, World Cups. They've represented Australia uh, for a number of years now, and um, to have those guys, you know, be able to teach me and guide me, um, show me the ropes of what it takes to be a boomer, um, you know, I couldn't ask for anything else. It's huge. It's huge for me. Um, you know, you get a chance to grow. You know, Goats gives you a chance to grow both offensively and defensively. He's going to give you an honest answer every single time, and uh, I truly appreciate that. And the past, even last year, we talked about it. The year before, when they went to Olympics. Uh, I told him I couldn't do it at the time, but I promised him that I would go the next time he called on me, and he called on me last summer, you know, again this summer as well, so I couldn't turn that down. Yeah. There, there's, last one for me is there's so many names, you, Josh, Matisse, yeah. I said I'm going to run out of names, but you guys are coming up, and yeah. and this could be Australia's best goal we've ever seen in, in history. How does that make you feel, and how much do you trust in Josh as well as a leader? Man, all these guys that you just mentioned, and more, you know, the whole squad, the roster from the top to bottom, everybody's you know, so talented. It's definitely going to be a tough decision for the coaching staff you know, to make that. But, uh, you know, everybody is, is unselfish and all bought in. You know, the, the leadership part, the, uh, the rest of the guys make it easier on the leaders because, you know, everybody's such great people to begin with and then basketball players at the end of the day. But everybody just pays attention to how Joe is leading, how uh, Patty's leading. And now, you know, you, have, you add Josh in that, in that roster as well. Everybody's kind of keen in on, okay, you know, this is us and we're just going to be good people to each other always.